Hi guys, in today's tutorial we're going to be painting a blood angel to a relatively high standard. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming. If you check the description box below you'll find a link to their web store and this link greatly helps me every time you purchase anything using that link. So please use the link in the description box if you do purchase anything from Goblin Gaming. Okay guys, I know I've recently uploaded an ultramarine tutorial, but I did a poll on my Facebook to see which one would get a tutorial. And silly me, I jumped the gun and painted up an ultramarine too quickly and Blood Angels actually won the poll. So I'm making it up to you guys and here is a tutorial for the Blood Angels as well. I have listed this Blood Angel on eBay guys. I'm hoping to gather a few funds to buy some Wild West Exodus minis which I'll show on my channel shortly. So if you check the description box below I'll put a direct link to my eBay sale of this miniature and the Ultramarine that I just painted. So please place a cheeky bid if you're interested guys and best of luck if you do. Okay guys, this is going to be a long video and you're probably going to hear a lot of background snoring from my pug Jack, so apologies for that. Um, go grab yourselves a nice hot drink and maybe a nice ice cold beer and we'll get started with the tutorial. I start off by using Alclad 2's Lacquer Primer White. This is very harmful if inhaled, so please make sure you're well ventilated guys if you're using this primer. And also it's very important that you use a good quality airbrush with PTFE solvent proof packing seals as cheaper airbrushes can be damaged by the lacquer uh, paint. I'm using my very trusty Awata Eclipse CS airbrush. I've said it in many videos guys but I absolutely love this airbrush. It's so versatile, so easy to clean, I highly recommend it. Um, I'll put a link to graphicair.co.uk where you can get this for a really good price. Now we're going to base coat the mini in brown. And I know we're painting Blood Angels guys, but brown is a great base coat uh, for the Blood Angels if we want to create a lot of shadows. It's very important with the base coat guys that you get a really nice, even, smooth coverage as subsequent layers of paints will be affected if you haven't got a nice even smooth surface to paint over. So take your time and make sure that the coat of paint is nice and smooth and even. Now we're going to place down some of the red onto the Blood Angel using Vallejo Model Air Fire Red. If you don't have Fire Red you could actually use Games Workshop's Corn Red, it's very similar in colour. Here you'll see I'm very slowly building up the colour and I'm leaving some of that brown behind in all of the recesses on the insides of the legs and some of the outsides of the legs.
Now we're going to add even more highlights using Vallejo Game Air Bloody Red. Now this is pretty much the standard Blood Angel colour which is very close to Mephiston Red but I'm not spraying it over the whole entirety of the miniature. As I said, I want to leave some really deep shadows behind on this Blood Angel to create some really nice contrast between bright reds and deep and deep reds. Extreme highlights are going to be added using Games Workshop's Layer Paint Wild Rider Red. I thin this down in the airbrush cup, roughly three drops of water to one drop of paint. But basically you want to look for roughly the consistency of cream. I'm making sure that I only hit the top surface of all the panels of armour on the Space Marine. It's important not to go over the top with this colour because it can start to look really orange really quick. Now we're going to do some dry brushing and it's very important whilst dry brushing guys that you remove all of the paint from the bristles of the brush. So basically when you're scrubbing the bristles of the brush on some paper towel you want to make sure that no more paint's coming on the paper towel before you even touch the miniature. Be very gentle on the Space Marine with a brush and use almost like a tickling motion and take your time to build up a nice subtle dry brush.
Now we're going to protect the miniature using Vallejo metal varnish, gloss varnish. Don't let the name metal varnish fool you, it's just a regular gloss varnish guys. I'm spraying here at about 25 psi and I'm working at about 3 to 4 inches away from the miniature. I sometimes use a hairdryer to speed up the drying times of my acrylic paints but I highly recommend you don't do this with gloss varnish uh, as this uh, acrylic gloss varnish from Vallejo can crack uh, in extreme temperatures so try to let it air dry it shouldn't take too long maybe uh, 20 minutes to half an hour now we're going to do some pin washing using Agrax Earthshade Gloss. It's important that you use the gloss variety as the capillary reactions of the brush will work in unison with the gloss on the miniature and the gloss in the wash. I use Microset and Microsol to help me apply the decals on the miniature. Now, I've not shown it in this video, but I did in the Ultramarine video. After I placed the decals down and I whipped off all of the excess Microset and Microsol, I then come in with Ultra Matte Varnish from AK Interactive to get rid of that horrid looking gloss. I'm going to make the decals look a little worn which makes the Space Marine look less toy like and more believable. I'm going to be using Games Workshop's layer paint Wild Rider Red and as you can see I'm removing most of the paint on the sponge and then I'm just ever so slightly dabbing on the miniature to create little textures on the decal.
Because of all the highlights that we added, especially the Wild Rider Red to the miniature, and then we edge highlighted with a dry brush, the miniature starts to look a little orange, and we don't want that. So what I'm doing is coming in with a glaze, and I'm just very thinly applying it all over the miniature. Now you can do one or two passes, or even more, as it's so thin. So when you find that you're happy with the overall colour of the miniature, you can stop with the glazing. I placed two layers of glaze on the miniature, and I was happy that the red had come back and started to pop again. Games Workshop's Mechanica Standard Grey is painted onto the casing of the bolt gun and also the chest Achilla. The Achilla on the bolt gun is painted using Vallejo Liquid Gold Old Gold. It's important that you have the brush cleaner or have isopropanol or rubbing alcohol as it's known to clean your brushes after using it. Vallejo Game Air Chainmail Silver is painted onto the bolt gun and onto the vents of the back of the backpack.
Games Workshop's Mute Green is placed onto the lenses on the backs of the legs and on the arm. All of the metallics and all of the Mechanicus standard grey is washed using Army Painter's Dark Tone. After the first pass of Dark Tone are dried, I come back in with a second pass just to really dull down that Mechanicus standard grey and metallics. Moot Green is painted onto the lenses of the Space Marines and then at the very very corner of the eye I place a little drop of Games Workshop's Flash Gitch Yellow. Games Workshop's dryard bark is placed onto all of the pouches on the Space Marine. Here I'm sponge chipping some weathering on the leather using Games Workshop Scrag Brown. After I finish sponge chipping to make the, the leather look worn, 
I then come in with hard edge highlights of scrag brown all round the edges. Here you can see that I'm highlighting the bolt gun casing using Mechanica Standard Grey with a tiny, tiny drop of white in it. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial guys. I love painting Blood Angels and they're one of my favourite armies of all times guys. Please check the description box below if you'd like to own this Space Marine from as little as a pound and bid on my eBay listing. I also want to say a huge thank you once again to my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming. Don't forget to check the description box below for links to their web store. Also guys, in my last tutorial on the Ultramarines, I said let's see if we can make 200 likes. Well, it smashed the 200 like barrier and I'm really, really happy. So thank you very much for helping me achieve this goal. Let's see if the Blood Angels are more popular than the Ultramarines by smashing that like button even harder. And let's see if we can get it up to 250 likes. Okay guys, uh, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.